Good morning. Morning. I didn't feel like drinking coffee today, so got a Red Bull. Yurt. Um, if you guys haven't figured out a theme, we have a lot of dogs. Well, that too, but yurt. We normally wear the same clothes all the time, and Jared finally changed. Well, I think today it's supposed to be a little bit warmer, so I'm in shorts and an at home with Tom and Ron shirt. Yeah, I got my yurt vest shirt. Um, I think I wore an empty homestead the other day when painting. Uh, it's like pretty much all we wear now is well, I mean, it's just gonna get, shirts. It's just going to get dirty, so we might as well wear the same one a couple times. Yeah, so. Because we did a lot of work yesterday, which you can't get into too much detail. Yeah, we did. Uh, it looks freaking amazing. Uh, I, again, I hate always being like, oh, we're doing something big. You can't see it. Well, they know that uh, that's how it is. But this is actually something that... Um, I've wanted to do since the day we got the property and uh, it just it's what it needed bad and um, there's something else we need bad done the gate so the goats <clears throat> we haven't put the wire up on the gate yet because we had this fenced in over here too but the goats finally learned how to get out so yeah. so we're gonna put a wire on the we're gonna repurpose something from the property hopefully yeah to fix that and then we have a few other projects to deal with the animals and stuff. Yep. Um, you guys will see stuff on Jared's. That'd be a busy um, video. I guess something we can kind of address is um, we know a lot of these videos have kind of been like the same as far as like on Jared's channel and our channel and stuff like that. Um, we're at the point to where um, we'll be able to start working on our own tiny houses. And uh, I think that's going to be super cool is uh is that the first one yeah probably um we'll be able to work on our own projects and uh do that and you'll see them they're gonna be <coughs> similar i guess our tiny houses well it'll be but different my house sure. and my channel y'all's and y'all's but no. we'll help each other out yeah but i mean like design wise and somewhat look wise but not really like we'll probably go for the same color that way all the buildings here match and everything but so can you guess what color we're going to paint the barn yeah um he's talking about not the shop the barn barn um but uh oh, the not a grain silo it's a little chilly this morning it is um i slept up in the the bird's nest in the room and uh i slept awful last night i slept great not because i was cold i mean i wasn't cold at all i just didn't sleep good i kept waking up i mean i did wake up a lot um, my neck hurts a little bit from sleeping a certain way, but I mean, I did sleep good. That cot in there is pretty comfortable. Uh, I'm pulling, watch out, Daisy, I'm pulling a tick off my leg. Unfortunately, there are ticks now. Um, it is starting to warm up and we're getting them and stuff. Guys, there's not enough hands for all y'all. Y'all can't be begging for pets. Oh, uh, that's why I wear jeans all the time. I mean, I have been, but I only got a 50 50 chance. And no, I'm not gonna put no tape on my ankles. I saw yeah, <laughs> I, I've seen about three million posts like that. <clears throat> Guys, I have no food, nothing. Y'all need to go read some books and then not stand in front of the camera. I got the chills now, that wind. Read some books. But the sun is coming up over the tree no, line, so once no. it does, it'll be a lot warmer. No, I don't have anything. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll be working on those and then potentially <clears throat> coming up soon, we might have a huge announcement. Um, it's just barely. It's in the talking stages. Yeah, in the talking stages. Um, but this could be huge. Um, oh, he got a cut on his. Yeah, I'll probably run into the. <coughs> it don't look like it hurts him at all. Uh, we actually gave Dexter and Barley a bath when we got back because. I'm sure, they're all cut up. Well, because Barley got in some some doo doo, and so. Uh, and then, but we gave him a bath, and the entire time dirt was just flying off. I mean, just an insane amount of dirt on them. But they had thorns stuck in them and stuff like that. But um, we do have a fuel box. Uh, for some reason, people can't figure that out. Uh, some what people, it is? Some people did, well, a few people, but sent stuff. what it is? They said that we say it too fast. Um, I put it in the description of the Crockers video. So if you go to the Crockers and go to the description of the newer videos, it's in there. But it's nine 
It's P.O. Box 972 Bristow, Oklahoma 74010. Um, shout out to the people who sent stuff to us already. Uh, I don't want to get in the habit of mentioning names because I don't want people to send stuff just for shout outs. But uh, the, anybody that sends anything, just know that we greatly appreciate it. Yes. Um, we've got some water totes in. Yeah. We had some uh, noodles sent to us and also a water heater. Yeah. A little boiler to cook with. And I uh, thought that was awesome. And yeah. And some body warmers. Um, so we are definitely not asking anybody to send us anything. Um, the reason I bring the peel box is, um, some of the coolest things I guess we've ever gotten, or at least I think I've gotten and stuff was letters in the mail, um, from you guys and handwritten. Sometimes y'all do type them. Y'all say my handwriting's way too bad, but, uh, y'all, y'all add in little things, you know, like little pictures of something that y'all did when y'all were you I'll know say, younger or something like that i will say this there was a letter in one of the packages and i want to give a shout out you know who you are to you and your husband who the husband that passed away um, yeah. i thought that was awesome for you to honor him by sending us something like that so yeah shout out to you you know who you are and that's why i'm saying you know the letters and stuff <laughs> like that um she also we, sent a picture on an email Oh. which I thought was cool, an old photo of them. We do get a lot of older people that watch. Um, that's the majority of who watches. It's crazy. So y'all have been there, done that, and, you know, y'all have stories that y'all have done. Or wanted to do that. Or wanted to do. Um, but I, I always do think it's pretty neat whenever, uh, you know, y'all say, like, I'm 75 years old and me and my husband lived off grid for 30 years and did this or whatever it was or farm animals. Could you imagine how much different it was back then? You talking about off grid, off grid. Yeah, there's no power, all that kind of stuff. Um, so all generator power. Yeah. So it's pretty cool, uh, you know, hearing those stories and stuff. So that's why I kind of brought up the uh, PO box because we we're making coffee and there's that little water heater thing that. Um, uh, we got sent and he's like, yeah, this is it right here. Cause Jared was the one that went to town. Um, that box picked was, some stuff up <laughs> when they uh, said, you have, you have a package. They're like, Oh wait, you got another package. <clears throat> and they come out this huge box. Eh. It had those big water totes in it. But Probably barely fit in your car. You ever thought about, uh, going full solar on the shop or the house? Um, excuse me. You ever thought about painting the top of the shop? I thought about doing solar. And then the only thing is, is, I mean, we have plenty of sun. It'd be fine. I want to be able to set up with electric out here, but then you can set up solar. And as it's doing it, one, it's a backup, but two, you can make your, uh, make your money back. It'll get electric in and pump it through the electric line back to them and you can make your money back. So, um, eventually we'd like to do that. But at first I think just straight electric. Uh, we have roughed it uh, for so long, and uh, even Jared in Texas, like the the tiny house and the man cave and all that was, uh, you know, run off solar banks or having to run electric cords or, you know, stuff like that. That Hell, I had full power and water in my house, and I barely used the power. I just think it'd be nice to have that luxury since we went so long without it. Um, yes, I have stayed at Danielle's house and stuff like that. Um, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about more as far as like trying to build and you know stuff like that so let's let's talk the roof of the barn i saw a lot of comments on your video first off there was a lot of comments saying they like the color yeah which i thought they were from what i saw i didn't see anybody that didn't like it i <laughs> didn't i mean i haven't been able to see all the comments yet um but there was a lot of comments on the actual roof saying they like the rust look well i was gonna say i didn't see one bad comment period <clears throat> can they can you clear coat it? Are you going to do it like a, uh, they said, get like a rust color? Um, I don't know. We'll yeah, find out. We, um, I kind of have an idea of what I want for it. Yeah, so we have an idea of what we want, um, but we are going to go through the comments, and that's kind of why I asked on there. Purple. Um, uh, <clears throat> some people said camouflage. What? Some people said uh, American flag. That's uh, just too hard to do. Yeah, it'd be a, super hard, especially because it's got ridges and stuff. Yeah. Um, uh, some people, you know, said brown, copper, black. I could see all those. Uh, red, um, orange, to do orange trim. 
I mean, uh, yeah, I saw a lot of people because they had to make it exact like the color of the trim. Yeah, and so the trim, <coughs> I actually did it. We did it gun stock, uh, and that's the color of it. But then I went back, and we had a mixture of old stains, and I, I put that, that another layer on top of that to give it more of a brown because it was like red, like orange red, like big time. And so uh, I threw that on there to kind of tone it down a little bit. But I might need to put a jacket on for a little while. But yeah, we uh, got a few projects. Um, unfortunately, over the next few days, it's supposed to kind of be rainy here and there, so we do need to get to it and uh, get these projects done. Um, I think we're gonna try to do, um, start scheduling our videos opposite days. Um, some days y'all are like, it's just Crocker overload. And it'll be like, you know, five videos in one day. Um, we might try to start uh, stagger in that but the hard thing is is service um yeah. it's i just post whenever i can yeah we kind of just try to post whenever we can so we'll try not to overload y'all one day and then go you know a day or two without anything so we'll try to stagger that i mean um, for the most part you get coffee to crocker in the morning yeah. you get shoot dang ranch at five roughly and then for my channel i usually post either at one o'clock or like three o'clock and usually post around four yeah I, i've been trying to do four i i actually look at my analytics and i I try to see when most of you guys start getting on, and it says about four o'clock, so I try to throw it in there um, <clears throat> for you guys rather than uh, you know either having to wait around. I don't want the people early having to wait, and I don't want the people later you know having to try to it's, watch early. It's, if it's crazy how much these uh these two dogs did not like each other when I first brought, brought Bandit to Texas, and now they're like best friends. Well, that's what happens when you gotta. Y'all ready to end this video? So you gotta start survive working? out here. You wanna start working? Nope. You want to start working? Want to start working? All right, guys. We'll go and get off, but uh, wet paws. We just wanted to say thanks for all y'all support. It's been absolutely crazy. Uh, the fact that y'all like what we're doing out here and uh, shoot dang fest is April 29th and 30th, and we would love to meet you guys if uh, if you guys haven't um, you know been around that long. Uh, shoot dang is just something that we started saying and it caught on and then uh this is shoot dang ranch and then uh shoot dang fest it's just a call it just a youtube meetup um but it's for anybody that has a youtube channel or that watches youtube um so if, or you, if you're just randomly at the hotel that day yeah so if you have a youtube channel and you'd like to come out it's a great time to hang out with a bunch of other you know like-minded people or if you're into you know ranch and farming homestead and that type of thing building uh, it's just a great place to be around like-minded people or if you just have nothing going on and you want to come out and hang out come on um so i guess we'll see you on the next one we got some work to do Peace.